Hi there, uh, welcome to another C Sharp tutorial. Uh, I'm Josef Botnar. In this uh, tutorial, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, classes and uh, objects. Uh, I'm going to do a few tutorials uh, about uh, object oriented uh, program. Uh, so uh, uh, let's uh, start uh, this uh, tutorial. Uh, first, uh, I'm going to change uh, the name for this uh, file, which uh, contains the main uh, method, uh, um, void main method. Uh, so uh, click with uh, left uh, side of the mouse and uh, let it be about uh, now let it be calculator calculator okay enter yes and uh, the name uh, was changed uh, you should know uh, that uh, visual studio um, give uh, us uh, default uh, cl uh, default uh, class um, uh, when uh, when we create uh, a new project. Uh, uh, it, uh, it its name is uh, program all the time. So I changed the name uh, from uh, program to calculator, as uh, you have seen uh, uh, before. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead. Uh, let's uh, remove uh, this uh, from my code. Let's remove this uh, namespace. Uh, I like to uh, keep uh, as clean as I can uh, my uh, project as uh, simple as I can. Let's uh, remove this uh, from inside of uh, main uh, parentheses. Uh, this. So uh, here we go. So let's uh, start and uh, declare a class. Uh, what uh, we have to do, uh, as you can see, and uh, as I told you, to uh, Visual Studio uh, create uh, uh, by default uh, class. Um, I changed the name. Uh, actually, the name always is uh, program. Uh, and uh, you uh, can realize uh, the, uh, the class uh, has uh, this uh, keyword uh, cl uh, class. So uh, that means uh, we need to use uh, this uh, keyword class uh, to declare a class. So uh, let's start with this class and uh, let it be math. And also I can use uh, an accessor if I want. Uh, let it be public. That means uh, this uh, class um, can be access uh, public uh, curly brackets and uh, let's be here a public uh, accessor as well public yeah, for this uh, class okay let's uh, fix uh, this uh, code a bit here you go let's uh, do a repetition so uh, this is the sort of uh, class uh, declaration, you should uh, use uh, this uh, keyword uh, class uh, followed by the uh, name of class, in my case uh, math. You can use uh, before uh, this uh, keyword uh, class uh, an accessor, in my case it's public, uh, uh, which means uh, this class uh, could uh, be uh, access uh, public. So uh, all the time um, Visual Studio uh, will uh, create uh, by uh, default uh, a class uh, named uh, program, uh, which you can uh, change uh, as uh, I have done uh, a few seconds um, before. I'm going to declare here a public uh, integer variable a and b. I want to be able to use this uh, class. How uh, I can use uh, this uh, class uh, math? I should instantiate. I should uh, create an instance to be able to use this class. How um, I can do this? So uh, I should use uh, the name of class, in my case, uh, uh, math. And uh, after um, I should declare a reference variable, let it be uh, sum equal uh, operator this uh, keyword uh, new and again the name of the class uh, be, uh, followed by uh, parentheses and uh, semicolon. Now uh, if I want to access uh, these two uh, variables a and uh, b, I'm uh, going to use the uh, reference uh, variable name sum followed by uh, dot and uh, after uh, I press the dot key, uh, this uh, intelligence uh, will appear. We have uh, these two uh, variables, which uh, I declared uh, on the top uh, on, uh, of this code inside this uh, class uh, math, a and b. And um, before uh, these two variables, there is the icon used for uh, variables. And another icons you have here uh, in this intelligence, uh, which uh, is related to method. So this equals is method, 
get hash code is method uh, and the method has uh, this uh, icon and the variables uh, has uh, this um, AI icon okay so i'm going to access uh, this uh, variable a and i'm going to assign to it um, this uh, value uh, 20 uh, semicolon and uh, here i'm going to access the b uh, variable which is going to have this um, uh, value uh, 10. okay uh, so uh, uh, what is the advantage to use uh, class and uh, objects the main uh, advantage is uh, you can uh, keep very organized uh, your uh, code another advantage is you can uh, use uh, your uh, classes uh, to another um, projects so um, if you want to uh, to create another object uh, which uh, belongs to the same class you uh, can uh, do another instance in the same way uh, what I uh, have done here before. So I'm going to use uh, the name of class, uh, math, and uh, if uh, I want to do the subtraction for the, these two variables a and b, so let it be uh, soft from a subtraction equal a new math parenthesis and a semicolon, and now I have another uh, object, another ma math uh, object, uh, which uh, has uh, this uh, reference variable uh, subbed. So now I can access uh, these uh, two variables uh, using this uh, reference variable subbed. A uh, with uh, this value 50, for example, and uh, another, uh, I'm going to access another variable uh, B. Uh, and uh, I'm going to assign to it, uh, uh, let it be 30. Uh, if I want to display in console uh, the result of uh, sum and uh, subtraction, uh, or uh, if I want to get uh, some uh, re uh, displayed uh, result, I'm going to use uh, console uh, right uh, line. First, I'm going to use this uh, uh, system and uh, console right line method parentheses semicolon the sum is and here I'm going to to write uh, the first uh, object using uh, this reference variable uh, sum uh, using uh, access this uh, variable a and the sum dot uh, b so uh, here we we will have uh, the result of uh, addition between these uh, two uh, variable a and b and uh, let's copy this line and uh, let's paste it here and uh, here I'm going to use the, another uh, reference variable, which is related to another object here on this uh, line, subbed a and uh, subbed b, dot b. Yeah. And I'm going to use this system console uh, read line. That the console to be able to be stuck uh, on uh, my uh, screen. Okay, so now let's uh, run the result of uh, this uh, application. Here you go. Yeah, I should hear a, a change. So uh, this is subtraction, not sum here. Subtraction. Yeah. Let's uh, run again uh, the application. Here you go. We have now the result of addition is uh, 30 and the result of subtraction is uh, 80 because uh, I used uh, these uh, two variables uh, which uh, are called um, as well uh, fields uh, in uh, programming. And uh, I created, uh, I uh, instantiate um, two objects using uh, the math uh, class. The first one uh, is uh, uh, using this uh, reference variable sum which uh, using uh, these uh, values for uh, the, these two uh, variables, a and b, and another um, object which uh, use uh, this uh, reference variable uh, subbed. 
So uh, that's all for today. Uh, thank you for watching this uh, video tutorial. See you next time. Bye.